Constable, subhanAllah. So brothers and sisters, moving on with the show, we have our second very special guest, and he is the founder of Afia Healing, uh, subhanAllah, and that's an alternative healing uh, model, and it focuses on the physical and emotional problems that we suffer as human beings. And um, he successfully taught the art of uh, Afia energy and emotional healing across the UK and globally. So we're pleased to welcome Brother Zuhair Girach to the Islam Channel show. Assalamu alaikum, Brother Zuhair. Wa alaikum salam, Brother Imran. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Jazakallah for asking. I'm doing very well. And how about yourself? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah wa shukr, mashallah. I, I guess that's message. a very poignant question for you anyway, because of what you do, subhanAllah. Absolutely. So you always ask, how are you? And then rather than yeah. just a simple, uh, I'm fine, thank you, or Alhamdulillah, yeah. which we should always start with anyhow, with the, you then hope the person elaborates, because that will make your job a little bit easier. Uh, yeah, and, and it happens, isn't it? So we always go and we ask our friends and we'll say, how are you doing? And they'll say, Alhamdulillah, but Alhamdulillah, and and that's where it, it leads on from. So Alhamdulillah, in, in, in my line of work, we see a lot of people coming and asking, you know, well, they've come with a purpose. I've got a problem. What can you do to help me? And so Alhamdulillah, in my history of last 12 years of working in the alternative healing side, um, it's about trying to understand what has got you to this point. Why is it that you're feeling ill? Why is it that you've got this chronic pain? Uh, why is there inflammation in your body? Why is it that you got diabetes, but no one else in your family got diabetes? And so what we try to look for is the root causes rather than saying, well, if you've got a pain, let's put a plaster on it. If you've got a cut, let's stitch it up. So from a, what Afia healing literally means, Afia, the Arabic word, you know, so we get these forwards on, uh, you, on WhatsApp a lot. Um, Allahumma inni asaluk al-afia. This is a comprehensive dua. And the Prophet wasallam said, but in it is everything. And so the extended dua of it is, that in my deen, in my dunya, and in my akhira, ya Allah, give me goodness and, and completion. And so oh, yes. this is a name that I chose for this modality, is that when a client comes to us, what we want for them is not only can we help them with their body, but we can also assist when, when it comes to regards to their emotional well-being. And when the body and mind become aligned, the spirit inside also gets aligned. So we find with a lot of people, you know, that uh, ibadat becomes a burden if, if the body is not working or, you know, the elders will complain that it's not the same praying without going into sujood or I can't bow down. OK, fine. Let's get rid of the physical pain. But then it's the emotional worry. And so people that are extremely stressed, extremely de depressed, you know, they go and look for help. And sometimes, you know, the only answer they get is you need to pray some more. Um, I'm not in a state to pray. I'm, I'm on the verge of leaving my deen. Give me something practical. Give me something that I can actually physically do to make myself better. And as we are doing that, alhamdulillah, we can start to realign them back towards their deen. Okay, subhanAllah. So alhamdulillah, this is what we want, is we want a holistic approach um, from an Islamic perspective. Um, so alhamdulillah, you know, out there on the market now in the Muslim world, there isn't a comprehensive Islamic modality dealing with holistic well-being in this way. I see, I see. Um, so are lots of people aware of this type of healing, would you say? Alhamdulillah, it's coming up now. I mean, you know, it's been 10 years. Um, you know, the last six, seven years I've been traveling globally from Malaysia uh, across to, you know, Canada, from Norway down to South Africa. Alhamdulillah, you know, it's, it's, it's getting around, but still we are in the infancy of it. And as people are recognizing that, you know, medicine plays its role and then maybe Rukia and, you know, that stuff plays its role. 70% of the population just has issues regarding, you know, our, the way we view the world, um, you know, the, the environment that we live in that affects and influences our state of well-being. So you can imagine now what's happening, you know, with all the media attention on, you know, uh, what's going on in America. Suddenly COVID has disappeared. OK, wow. there's no more COVID. Mm -hmm. There was no more heart disease. There's no more cancer. But it just depends on where, you know, the attention and focus it's is. Shifted, and yeah. we get very, very caught up in the drama. And this is exactly where the Prophet ﷺ, when he said that the ummah will be large in number, but will be carried around like the foam on the waves. And subhanAllah, today my emotion is high on this. Next week will be on that. Another week on that. We need to find our roots. We need to come back home. And only when we come back home do we start to understand what is the correct response according to Sharia and Sunnah for, to allow us not only to live purposefully in this life, but to live holistically as well for this dunya and the akhirah as well, inshallah. Inshallah. So holistic healing sounds, sounds uh, 
we hear we do hear more about it, obviously, uh, especially here on Islam Channel. Uh, but it's it's a beautiful thing, and it seems so pure and so authentic. Um, you know, you mentioned the word emotion, right? And it made me think that emotion isn't always something sad. Emotion could be no. happiness as well, of course. Uh, then you have anger, you have stress, and obviously you have sadness. Um, but all these emotions trigger, uh, I'm assuming, is it endorphins in your body? They release endorphins in your body. Um, and this is essentially what you're trying to say is one of the yeah. main avenues where we're trying to heal our, our brothers and sisters or, you know, um, to, to see if that can make a difference, basically. Absolutely. Emotions is everything. I know the moment you start thinking, thinking allows emotions to form within your body. So if you have a happy thought, it makes you smile. The moment you smile, you've got oxytocin coming down off your body, and then it floods the body with that. If you feel threatened, your body starts releasing adrenaline. The adrenaline will put you into stress mode, and it wants you to run away. So depending on what we are thinking about, you might be comfortable, you might be safe, you're sitting on your lounger, you've got your drink, you've got your food, you've got your children, nothing is bothering you, but your mind is replaying a trauma from 30 years ago. And now as a result of it, your body starts feeling stress, you feel choked up, you feel tightness in your chest, you've got you know, butterflies in your stomach, and your body now is struggling to survive. Do that every day for the next two years, three years, four years, you are building up excessive amounts of cortisol in your body. That cortisol is acidic in nature. What is acid doing in your body? It's starting to eat you away. It's starting to, you know, cause, um, you know, uh, damage within, within your cells. And so this is how illnesses come about. But like you said, all emotions are not bad because love, joy, compassion, mercy, forgiveness, okay, all of these are elevated emotional states. And this is why if you can't give anything to a person, just smile in their face. And when you smile, it makes you smile just there. And that in itself has released a relaxant mm. into your body. And that is my sadaqa to you. SubhanAllah. You know, so SubhanAllah, just let's understand it. And this is why it's so important. This is what I love, that everything within the sunnah, if it is extrapolated in the correct way, we will find that within it, you know, people yes. will actually run back to the sunnah. People yes. now think that, oh, sunnah is so hard and this. No, no, no. Healing is within the sunnah, our body, our mind, so, and our spirit. So, so, Brother Zuhair, you know, regarding those negative memories and those negative experiences that we have that really scar us sometimes, right? Yeah. Sadly, we ponder those so much more. <coughs> so you can have an equal amount of, you know, happy memories, positive memories and negative men memories. Yeah. But sadly, it's the negative ones are the ones that you keep thinking about every time you shut your eyes yeah. and they scar. Yes. How can we, you know, overcome something like that? I mean... You know, maybe it's out of your comfort zone to speak about and give advice about that, but that must be one of the biggest challenges you face. Absolutely. And, you know, bad memories are like Velcro. You know, we stick to them. Good mm. memories are like Teflon. They just slip away. So you can count a hundred blessings, but that one time someone said that, you know what, you're useless, you are. That sticks. And so when it comes to therapy, then what we do is that we try to detach the emotion from the incident. The okay. incident will never be erased from memory. It's always there. And you know that this auntie said this to me, that uncle said this to me, that teacher said that to me. But as long as we associate an emotion of hurt, of guilt, of shame to it, that is what's going to keep us locked into that incident. So when it comes to therapy, we work through the emotional side of it only. When we work with our clients, a lot of the times, as you can imagine, especially within our communities, there is a lot of incidents that regularly take place that have a lot of shame attached to it. And where our clients will not want to speak about it, that's why they never come forward with it. With Afia Healing, we don't want to know your story. Just tell me how you feel. I feel ashamed. I feel frustration. I feel trapped. Good. Let's work with that. Can we detach that emotion? Do you want to carry on living like that? No, I don't. What do you want to do with it? I want to let it go. We take them through the process. Ten minutes later, alhamdulillah, we have detached the emotion from the incident. SubhanAllah, really, honestly speaking, honestly. honestly speaking, you know, I'm benefiting so much. I know our people in the studio here at Islam are benefiting so much. And I really hope that our viewers are benefiting so much because that Absolutely. advice there is life changing. Simply put, Absolutely. detach yourself Absolutely. from the emotional incident. Um, so, so how can people get hold of you? How can people get hold of you for more information and more wisdom such as what you shared with us tonight? Inshallah, look, Afia Healing, double A-F-I-Y-A-H. And then healing. If you use the hashtag, I'm on Facebook, I'm yeah. on Instagram, you'll yeah. find me on my website. Yeah. So just bring it on, inshallah. Come, send us your questions. 
let's talk because there's so much that they, you know, the ummah is suffering, but it begins at home. It okay. begins with each of us. And Afia healing as a modality, I'm a trainer of Afia healing. So my, my vision is not that I'm the healer and everyone come to me. No, I want to train healers in every city, on every street, in every okay. house. So okay. you look after yourselves. Okay, inshallah. inshallah. Okay, so Jazakallah is ahead. Best of luck with everything, inshallah. Remember us in your du'as, inshallah. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum. Brothers and sisters, uh, fantastic advice there from Brother Zuhair. Um, and obviously, this is an alternative method of healing where we're trying to, uh, or Zuhair is trying to promote this mental well being, which then promotes a physical healing. But if you have any serious illness, obviously, do contact your GP. Of course, now, brothers and sisters, we are off for a quick break. Uh, so grab yourself a quick cup of tea, inshallah. We'll be back.